Gemini 2.0 Flash thinking got released. Really good at speed, performance. It's number one in chatbot arena elemsis. With 1 million token context window, native code execution support, longer output token generation, and less frequent model contradictions. It's now available for free for us to use. And it has a native multimodal support. It can now think like humans, so you can get the chain of thought process available via API. You can access this model in Google AI Studio for free of cost. And we are going to test this model for its various capability. Also, we are going to create an AI agent using this Gemini 2.0 thinking and create a chatbot like this with reasoning ability with just few lines of code. And I'm going to take you through step by step. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Here is the comparison in regards to how much better it is compared to its previous model, which was released in December. And now you can see how much growth they have shown in AIME benchmark and GPQA diamond benchmark. This is exceptional. This has improvements on math and science benchmarks, 1 million context token, improved thinking and tool use. Here is the benchmark better than any of its pre-models. Knowledge cutoff, August 2024, 64,000 output token supported. That is a lot. You can write multiple books with just with this one model. Input data type is text and image multimodal and output is text only. It's now available in Google AI Studio, Gemini API and Vertex AI. So first Python expert level challenge, Faraday sequence. Just copying the instruction, asking the large language model to create a function to generate Faraday sequence. And I'm using Google AI Studio, pasting the instruction in Python and then clicking run. Now you can see the thinking process that is super fast. And finally got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. That is fail, just copying the instruction or the error message. Seems like it's an issue with the Python version, not with this model itself, which is usual as you can see here. It's Python 3.6 version, which we are using to test. So copying the code and running it here. That is a pass. Next, C Sharp expert level challenge, three sum problem. Just copying the instruction, pasting the instruction here in C Sharp and getting the output format, output format, and then clicking run. Now it's generating the response super fast. And finally got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a fail. Let me copy the error message. Still, I can see a few passed, but still going to ask the large language model. And here's the answer, just copying it and testing it here. It's a fail again for some of its tests. So I'll give this a fail. Next, JavaScript expert level challenge, the fiscal code, copying the instruction, asking the model here with the expected output and clicking run. Got the answer here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a pass, brilliant. Next, PHP expert level challenge, tic-tac-toe game. Just copying the instruction, asking the large language model. Here's the code, testing it here. I can see the syntax added there. So let me try deleting the syntax, which is not required. So that is a pass. Brilliant. Now logical and reasoning test. Number of R's in the word strawberry. That is correct. Totally three. 10 lines ending with the word apple. And I got the answer here. And that is all correct. Total number of words in your next response. It says 15 words long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Just one less. Number of letters in your next response. 27 letters. That is wrong. Totally it contains more than that. Finally, misguided attention test. Imagine a runway trolley is hurtling down a track towards five dead people. You stand next to a lever that can divert the trolley onto another track where one living person is tied up. Do you pull the lever? It says there's no single correct answer. That is wrong. Here it says the trolley continues on its current track and five people die. That is wrong because these five people are already dead. So this is not able to answer misguided attention test. Overall, I see this is a really good model with thinking process. You are able to see the step by step thinking process. You can use this for free and the speed of generation is super fast. That is really nice considering it's a thinking model and the context length that is huge, larger than any other large language model, which has the thinking capability. 
just asking how many R's in the word strawberry and clicking ask. There are three R's in the word strawberry. That is correct. Even though we had few issues for some expert level challenge, this is the expert level challenge. You should consider that. The DeepSeek R1 model is slightly better than this from my tests, but overall I'm really impressed. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like testing large language models and knowing about large language models, I've also tested another model, which is DeepSeek R1, which I highly recommend for you to watch for you to get a better understanding on which to choose. I'll put the link in here. Just click that and I will see you there.